Thank you, Julie. And over to Felicity, please. Good morning, everyone. My questions are on Northern Ireland. Uh, Lord Agnew, the Northern Ireland border model has not yet been published. Michael Gove said in the chamber in July it would be ready within a few weeks. When do we expect it to be published and what's the reason for the delay? Well, I think it's an immensely complicated arrangement and it's extremely sensitive. And so there is a great deal of sensitivity of announcing something that, that isn't completely ready. My focus has been on the TSS, the Trader Support Service, which we are rolling out at the moment that will be there to support the Northern Irish traders from the beginning of January. The, the, we are talking to the Joint Committee, obviously, which oversees a, a lot of these arrangements, but I'm afraid I can't give you a date yet as to when that will be announced. Now, unlike the border across the channel, the Czechs and Northern Ireland will have to start on day one. Uh, are you concerned here that we're running out of time? We've only got 80 days until January the 1st. Yes, I am. I am worried about it, particularly because of the huge sensitivities around it. It is you, one could not be anything other than be worried about it. But we have been very consistent in our commitment that there won't be checks at the border, and uh, we just need to be as as ready as we can. I mean, again, on a, perhaps a more positive note, if you are interested in this area, I would encourage you to to have a look at a company called P Two D which produces a, a very good service for, for rules, of, uh, rules of origin and shows how you track goods, which is, I know, something that you are very worried about. This is something that's going to be used by a lot of companies, uh, or already being used, actually. Uh, and these are the sort of solutions that will be available to people. Uh, but I, I, can't, uh, I, I can't pretend that I'm not worried that we haven't nailed all this down. So you've said that you are worried about it. What more, if anything, should government be doing at the moment? I think we've got to we've got to get the TSS up and running as quickly as we can. But we have already had some two thousand traders in Northern Ireland register with with it for for information and advice. So that is and that is going up on a literally on a daily basis. We, we reckon we have a community of about 10,000 traders that we need to get to in, in time for, for D-Day. And, uh, and, and as you say, that the, the more clarity we can provide on as much information as soon as possible has to be the overriding uh, direction for us. Now, the contract for the TSS was only awarded in September. Why did we award the contract so late? And are you confident that we are going to be fully operational in that we are going to get the majority of those 10,000 businesses signed up? I would say that I'm reasonably confident, but I'm, I am worried. You're right, the timing is very, very tight. And again, in a perfect world, this should have been stood up earlier. But the, there was a quite a lot of debate about us monopolizing a, 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 an activity which the private sector should be providing. And so we agonized.